Hold on to your hats and pass those Kellogg's Corn Pops. Cause here comes Guy Madison as Wild Bill and his pal Jingles, which is me, Andy Devine. We got another rootin' tootin' Wild Bill Hickok adventure story for you from that great new cereal with the sweetening already on it, Kellogg's Corn Pops! Kellogg's Corn Pops brings you Wild Bill Hickok, transcribed in Hollywood and starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. About the time Ulysses S. Grant was president, Wild Bill Hickok was among the most feared and respected United States Marshals on the western frontier. Many a bad man had faced Wild Bill and his big deputy Jingles to wind up either eating dust or looking out from behind bars. Then came the time when Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles met up with a party of gunfighters who dealt a hand of four aces for death. It's getting too dark to see him, Bill. Yeah. Hey, there's a gun flash. They're headed for the hills. If they get up in those rocks, we got as much chance as a paper bag in a hailstorm. Hold your fire, Jingles. They've quit shooting. Do you reckon we've lost them, Bill? Sure looks that way, partner. Hold up a minute. Whoa, whoa, Buckshot. Whoa, ho, ho, Joker. Doggone bank robbers. They sure got away slick as a cow's nose in a barrel of mash. That's right, partner. And they're both headed south, which could mean they're crossing the border. Yeah, then we've lost them good. Those slab-sided coyotes are going to ruin our reputation, sure. Hey, hey, well, we didn't even see them. That's right. We wouldn't know them if they walked up the street and said, howdy, stranger. You, you reckon the sheriff got any information, Bill? I'd have to ask him. Yeah, and what good did it do us? Well, we can go back now and ask him. Come on. Hop, Buckshot. Ho, hey. Joker, ho! You know, Bill, I'll bet if those two owl hoots knew who we were, <laughs> they'd be laughing up their sleeves at us right now. Come on, Joker. Hey! Wait till Nippy hears about how we give Wild Bill Hickok the slip. <laughs> yeah, if it was Hickok. Well, don't keep saying that. Didn't I hear that big jughead deputy's voice? I'd know it anywhere. It's us, Nippy. You're late. Did you get the job done? We sure did. <laughs> Just look at them saddlebags. I'll bet it's more than you figured on. Open it up, Nippy. Count it. There's no hurry. It'll keep. Did you have any trouble? Oh, just a little. Not much. Albert shot the banker. I told you no killing. But how did I know he'd be working late in the bank? He started to draw his gun. I shot him. Yeah. We almost didn't get away. Ah, uh, you gordhead. You'll wreck our setup. Did anyone follow you? <laughs> yeah. And when you hear who it was, we give the slip to. Who? Tell me, Dingo. Who did you give the slip? Wild Bill Hickok. Hickok? You big, lame brain, chuckle-headed brother to a backward mule. I ought to cut you no, off. No, 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 Nippy. We done like you said. He lost our trail. No, no, Nippy, put away that knife. Look, stop it, Mal. Hold it, Nippy. He said Hickok lost his trail. Hickok never lost a trail for long. You mean he'll keep coming after us? That's what I mean. And if he ever catches us, I'll get you before he has a chance to. We can go away. You don't go away from Hickok. The only thing to do is to go to him. Luke, get the aces out of your war sack. But, Nippy, the aces, that would be suicide for us. Uh-uh. No, no, Albert. These four aces are going to mean death for Wild Bill Hickok. <laughs> Howdy, partners. Here's your old sidekick, Panhandle Jim. You know what I got here? A great big package of Kellogg's Corn Pops. Been munching on them during the show. That's what you want to do with Kellogg's Corn Pops when you're listening to Wild Bill or when you're riding the range. Take them right along with you and eat them right out of the box. Because Kellogg's Corn Pops are already sweetened for you. Yes, sir. But come breakfast time, pour them out in a bowl and add a little milk. But forget the sugar, because like I just said, they've already got the sweetening right on them, every single corn pop. If you're eating them right now, look at the bag inside the box. 
It's pure aluminum. Keeps Kellogg's Corn Pops fresh up to ten times longer. Say, and here's something to tell your mom. That bag's wonderful for storing things in the refrigerator or for carrying sandwiches in, keeping them fresh and crisp as the Arizona morning. Now, don't go messing around with one box of Corn Pops. Get your mom to load up big, because you'll want plenty. Now, all together, let's tell everybody who loves Corn Pops. Kids love Pops, moms love Pops, and Pops love Pops. Now, rain up here and let's listen to more of this exciting story. While Bill Hickok and Jingles returned to the town of Greenfield where the bank had been robbed and caught the sheriff before he left his office. Now they're listening to the downhearted old lawman as he recounts the robbery. Not a witness that's worth a consarn tinker, Bill. Guess the only man that saw him close was Cy Blander, the banker, and he's already laid out for his funeral. Nobody saw him at all, Sheriff. Oh, they saw him, Jingles, but not close. There was two men. One was tall, and the other was medium high and husky. Ain't much to go on, but they... Uh, oh, uh, the shorter one was hunched. The bank was held up about dusk. That made it hard to see him. And that's the third set of bank robbers in these parts in two months. And seven banks been shook down. Wait a minute, Sheriff. Why do you say it's a third set of robbers? Have you caught the others? No, but descriptions differ. One time over in Cedarville, it was a tall, lean fella and a little one. In Charity Falls, it was a big one and a medium-high husky fella with a little hunch to eat. Say, hey, you reckon... <clears throat> Just might be, Sheriff. Just might be. <laughs> All right, here are the four aces. I'll put them in the hat. Who wants to draw first? I reckon I will. And I hope I get the ace of spades. I'd like a crack at Hickok. You give me a right good reputation to gun down the best gunfighter in the West. Then draw, Luke. <laughs> and good luck to your reputation. Dead blast my luck. Diamonds, the ace of diamonds. That makes you number three. All right, Albert. Yeah, I draw. Uh, the ace of hearts. That's mine. Albert's number two. Now it's your turn, dingo dumbbell. Now, Nippy, you quit pecking at me. I'm liable to get mad and step on you. If you did, what did you use for brains? Draw. But the ace of spades is still in the hat. Yeah, and the ace of clubs, first and last. Between us, dingo. Draw. Oh, you go first. I ain't hankering to tangle with Hickok. <laughs> All right, dingo, I'll draw. <laughs> You're not going to like this, dingo. Show it. Face up, Nippy. Show it to us. There it is. Clubs. The ace of clubs. Number four. That's right, Dingo. And you know what that leaves in the hat? One card. The number one card. The ace of spades. And it's all yours. No, no, no. I don't want it. You got it. There. Take a good look. You're the first to go after Hickok, and you've got 24 hours from now. It's almost midnight. We'll meet back here at midnight tomorrow night. And if you don't get Hickok by that time, Albert takes over. Now get going. sure be glad to get to bed. It's almost 1.30 in the morning. Yeah, let's get to bed. We've got a cold trail to follow tomorrow. Yeah. Now, where in thunder did that lamp go to? Oh, oh, Bill. Don't move, Jingles. Bill, that's a rattlesnake, and it sounds like it's right in my pocket. Yeah, but you can't tell in the dark. Uh, Bill, what's a rattler doing in our room? I don't know. Just stand still. Oh, well, my feet are standing still, but oh, I'm just shaking all over. Well, don't. Hey, Bill, that sounded like two of them last time. It is. Jingles, you got a match? Yeah, I think so. All right, now take it easy. Oh. Take the match, stretch your hand far away from your body, and light it. Oh, what for? I don't want them to see me. Now look at the light. That'll give me one second to spot them. Oh, okay, here goes. Oh, Lucifer, don't you fail me now. Oh, Bill, you did it. Oh, oh. Ah, they're deader than a dead rattler. Oh, boy. Relax, Jingles. It's all over. <clears throat> no, all we got to do is figure out who set this up for us. Well, now, what makes you think a thing like that? Did you ever find a rattler in a second floor hotel room before? <laughs> no, but it could happen. Sure. Now, light that lamp. Okay. Hey, 
Look at the marks on these snakes, Jingles. Uh, what's it mean, Bill? Somebody caught him with a loop. It's an old Indian trick. I've done it myself. Then you think somebody really m- meant to get us, Bill? Yeah, but keep uh, quiet. Bill. Oh, be careful, Bill. All right, whoever you are, reach. Stop or I'll drill you. Uh, who is it, Bill? Stop! He's getting out the window. Stop. He's shooting at us, Bill. Dust him off. No use, Jingles. Down the stairs, they're after him. Jingles, his horse is tiring. Hey, sir. Bill, did you notice anything familiar about him? Yeah. It's just about sun up, and he looks just like the one we were chasing at sundown last night. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hey, he's quit shooting. His guns are empty. Then let's get him. You take him on the right. All right, you low-life sneaking coyote. Your time's run out. You ain't gonna get me. That's what you think, mister. Now hold on on that coyote. Steve, get down his horse, Bill. I'll get him. I'll stomp you into the desert, fat boy. Let me have him, Jingles. Oh, no, Bill. This was just about my size. All right, you asked for it. Jingle. I got him, Bill. You got nothing, lawman. Put snakes in our room, will you? I don't know what. <laughs> Good work, Jingles. Oh, that galoot is hard to knock over. Say, Bill, look at the money falling out of his pocket. Hey, and, and there's the ace of spades. I'll bet he's one of those bank robbers. I wouldn't be a bit surprised. All right, mister, get on your feet. You're going back to rest up in the Greenfield Jail. Yeah. Well, Hickok, you may have got me, but you ain't finished yet. You got three more aces to draw. (laughs) And before this week's out, you'll be horizontal. Six feet under the sod on Boot Hill. down, Luke. It's just midnight. Maybe Dingo's been held up a little. I don't like it. Dingo ain't smart enough to send up against Hickok. Now, don't look down on Dingo, Luke. He's got ways. And so have you, huh, Nippy? Yes, and so have I, Albert. What about it? You could have had that ace of spades. Are you saying I cheated? No, I didn't say that. Did you? Why, put that gun down, Albert. I was just cleaning it, Nippy. What's everybody getting so chumpy about? <laughs> What are you pacing up and down like a cougar for? I'm waiting for Dingo. But so are we all. And poor Dingo is not coming back. What makes you think so? Well, if he's not, it's your turn, Albert. You drew the ace of hearts. Get going. All in good time. I'm in no hurry. Well, you better be. You've got 24 hours. No. You are going first, little Nippy. Put that gun down, Albert. I drew the ace of clubs. I'm last. First, Nippy. No, Albert. Nippy! Nippy! <laughs> Some people don't remember that a knife is faster than a gun. You had not done that, Nippy. Now there's only two of us. Yes, and with the ace of hearts in Albert's hand, you're next up. You have 24 hours, Luke. I know what I got. I'll see you here tomorrow night at midnight. And when I do, Hickok will be dead. Just about an inch too low, Jingles. Well, how do you expect me to hit a two-bit piece 50 feet away? It would take two rabbit's foots and a gimlet eye to do that. Would it? Let's see. Doggone it, there you go, shooting holes in my money again. You know I can't spend it that way. All right, here's another one. (laughs) Thanks. Uh, Of course, that's the only reason I didn't hit it in the first place. (laughs) Just hate to waste the money. Here comes a stranger, Jingles. Now, remember what I told you. Oh, howdy, gents. Ah, oh, howdy, stranger. Nice weather we're having. Jingle. Huh? Howdy, mister. You, Marshal Hickok. That's right. You, uh, looking for me? In a way, my name's Luke Beeler. Heard you was forming a posse to go hunt up them owl hoots that robbed the Greenfield Bank the other night. Thought I'd like to join. No, no, we ain't making up no posse. We're just Never waiting. mind, Jingles. Forget it, stranger. We may be getting that posse together tomorrow. Are we, Bill? I said maybe. Oh. Meantime, stranger, we're just having a little target practice. Why don't you slide down and join? Don't mind if I do. Well, what'll we shoot at, Bill? Now, you ain't using no more of my money, that's for certain. Be better if we had some playing cards, Jingles. 
You happen to have a deck, Luke? No, but let's see. Yeah, I got one card <laughs> left over from a poker hand. Ace of diamonds. Hope that hand was four of a kind. What do you mean by that, Hickok? Mm, just that four of a kind would be mighty lucky for you. Yeah. Well, take a crack at this one. Here, I'll stick it on a tree. Uh, how far away you want it, Bill? About uh, 30 paces, Jingles. Is uh, this all right? Yeah. Is that all right with you, Beeler? Yeah, Hickok. That's all right with me. Stay where you are, fat boy, or I'll let daylight through Hickok. You always draw on a man's back, Beeler. And I ain't taking any chances, I do. I'm cutting you and your deputy out of the herd, Marshal. I'll put that ace of diamonds on your chest. Me and my partners have had our last trouble from Wild Bill Hickok. Look out, Bill! You know, you wranglers who've been on a ranch already know how the hands eat after a day in the saddle. They eat good and they eat plenty, because they need plenty of vitamins and minerals after working hard. And you know that vitamins and minerals in the food you eat are mighty good for you, make you big and strong. Well, Kellogg's Corn Pops, delicious as they are, also contain lots of things you need. B vitamins, vitamin D, with important minerals and food energy, too. That means you can eat all you want. And Kellogg's Corn Pops are already sweetened for you. Eat them out of the box or out of a bowl with milk. But don't use any sugar, because the sweetening's already there, just right. And that silver-like bag inside the box is really something. That's pure aluminum. Keeps Corn Pops fresh up to ten times longer. And your mom can use it to store things in the refrigerator for wrapping sandwiches. But best of all, and already sweetened for you, are Kellogg's Corn Pops. Now, you know who loves Pops. Let's say it together. Kids love pops. Moms love pops. And pops love pops. <laughs> you said it. Now, let's get back to Wild Bill and Jingles. Just as Luke Beeler, the third of the four aces, was about to gun down Wild Bill Hickok in cold blood, Jingles let out a yell. Look out! was going to gun you down like a rattler. Yeah, thanks for yelling, partner. It gave me just time enough to draw. I'll get you, Hickok. All you're getting, Beeler, is a chance to meet the sheriff. Now get back on that horse. We're heading for town. Wild Bill, you got another one. Yeah, Sheriff, and his pockets are stuffed with money, too. Yeah, we didn't have to go after him, Sheriff. He come to us just like the other. Jingles, hold it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Hey, what's going on here? Nothing you'd be interested in, Sonny. Let's take him back and lock him up, Sheriff. Sure. Right back this way. All right, you back-drawn Gila monster. Get in there. Quit shoving me around. I'm gone. Now, let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look. Jingle. They got you, too? Shut up, you fool. Hmm. That's all right, boys. Go right ahead and talk. I know all I need to know. What do you know, Hickok? I know we're going to have to find the ace of hearts and the ace of clubs. We need them to fill out our hand to make four of a kind. All right, Jingles. This is where we lost it. You going to try and pick up that cold trail, Bill? Sure. But it's three days old. That's all right, Jingles. We know now they didn't head for the border like we thought. Then you figure they've got a hideout in these hills? I'm almost sure of it, and not too far away. Then we better be careful running around here in the daylight. You're right, partner. It's my guess that one of our two missing aces is the boss of the four. Hey, here it is. Found sign, Bill? Yeah. We'll follow the one to the right. Come on, let's go. Oh, what'll we do if we find the hideout, Bill? Wait till dark, then surprise them. They'll be waiting to see if their friends Dingo and Luke show up, or I miss my guess. I don't think they'll be very glad to see us instead. Hey, here's another track, Bill. Yeah. Hey, Jingles, there's a cabin back in those trees. Where? It's hidden, back there on that ridge. Yeah, well, do we wait here? Yes. It'll be dark before too long. We're close enough now to jump the cabin, Bill. There's a light inside. Keep low and we'll take a look through the window. Bill? What? 
I just crawled across some fresh dug earth, and, well, it's shaped like a mound. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, you're right, Jingles. It's shaped like a grave. Oh, oh, oh. Bill, I don't like this business. I don't like it one little bit. That accounts for ace number three, Jingles. Number four's alone in that cabin. Come on, let's go get him. Well, now, if he's the smart one, we'd better be careful, Bill. All right. You go throw something against the window and yell, Jingles. I'll go through the door when you cut loose. All right, Bill, but you watch your step. Okay, partner, any time. All right, you horned toad in the cabin, you're surrounded. Come out with your hands up. All right, Reach. Where are you? Here I am, Hickok. That's an old trick. Now I'm going to finish you off. He got you with that knife. You little poison porcupine, I'll stomp you through the floor. No, no, no. Get away from me. No, Jingles, I'm all right. Just gather him up. He just kind of nicked me in the shoulder. You're going to take him back to the sheriff. Well, that fills our hand. We've got four of a kind. Well, Hickok, I'm glad you got back. I got a confession from them two varmints back in the cell. Now, they're the bank robbers all right enough, but there's two more of them. Not two more, Sheriff. Just one. And there he is. Where? There. Behind Jingles. Get out from behind me, half pint, so he can see you. That little pinhead, him a bank robber? Huh. He don't look big enough to rob a piggy bank. Ah, shut your big yap, you old fossil, and lock me up if you're going to. Ha! <laughs> you haven't got a jail that'll hold me. <laughs> you know, he may be right, Sheriff. Have you got a can of pork and beans handy? Yeah, I got one. Why? Well, we can empty out the pork and beans and stuff this little salamander in the can and put the lid back on. That'll hold him. <laughs> but what'll I do with the pork and beans, Jingles? Nah, don't you go worrying about that, Sheriff. Just hand me a spoon and leave everything to me. <laughs> And now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison, and Andy Devine. Thanks for being with us today, folks. Andy and I will be back again the same time next week. Yes, sir, Ree Bob, and we've got a rip-snorter of a story for you, too. So see you then. Meanwhile, Andy and I also hope you'll remember to get Kellogg's Corn Pops. Right. It's the great new cereal with the sweetening already on it. You bet it is. Andy and I think Corn Pops are great. So long. See you next week. <laughs> Yes, sir, be sure to listen next week at this same time on this same station when Kellogg's Corn Pops brings you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Ed Max, Hal Gerard, Ralph Moody, Barney Phillips, Junius Matthews, and Jack Moyles. Our director is Paul Pierce, music by Dick O'Rant. This is a David Heyer production transcribed in Hollywood. This is Charlie Lyon reminding you, kids love pops, moms love pops, pops love pops. Kellogg's Corn Pops. Oh, my God.